hello Pisces intuitive soul coach here with your May new moon reading so the new moon does land on May 11th give or take some a uh, few hours depending on where you are located in the world so just a friendly reminder this is a general reading for the collective energy of Pisces it may not resonate with every single one of you hopefully it does but feel free to check out your other chart placements as well your rising sign or your moon sign as well to get a more accurate description here. But hopefully this resonates with you. A fun reading today. We'll be tuning into spirit here and asking five specific questions that'll help you take in this new moon energy that starts on May 11th here. Uh, so we'll be asking five questions. Uh, where is the current energy of my beautiful Pisces at right now? What should they focus on during this cycle? What is their fullest potential? Uh, what energy do you have surrounding you that will help you achieve your potential? And what action steps do you need to take? Uh, so again, we'll be asking those five questions and uh, tuning in intuitively to see what action steps you can take. Uh, we'll be pulling a card on that as well. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can find that link in the description box below. If you would like to be entered into my monthly free reading giveaway, you can find that link in the description below as well. All right, so we're going to dive right in, Pisces. So can I please get four more cards, Spirit? Four more. What should my beautiful Pisces focus on? Thank you. What is their fullest potential during this new moon cycle? Thank you. Those together or okay. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. So we'll be clarifying these cards as well. Oh, yes. Beautiful energy. Okay. I'm excited to share this with you. So right away here regarding the first question that we have for you, your new moon energy Pisces is we have the eight of swords. This question is where is my beautiful Pisces? Where are they at right now with their energy? And it looks like uh, this did show up actually in reverse. If you could see that I did flip it. Uh, but the eight of swords energy, if it shows up, I do like to see it in reverse, but it's about you finally opening your eyes to a situation uh, that perhaps you felt trapped in, but you're gaining clarity in a situation, whether this is a relationship or a career, you see things for what they are. And I, I'm really liking this energy uh, because the truth has been exposed and you're not feeling helpless anymore. You're letting go of an old story, Pisces. So that's beautiful energy to be in. So we are going to clarify the eight of swords regarding your current energy spirit. What can you tell me about the Eight of Swords? What are they seeing? Whoa, whoa. Okay. The first card that did uh, attract me right away, it came out like that. Again, you are, you're taking off the blindfold to a situation uh, of the past here with the Two of Swords. You finally made a decision, Pisces, moving forward. You have the, the King of Cups energy. So the King of Cups, you made a rash, not so much rash, an emotional decision. It may have left you feeling, feeling a little bit eh, up in the air, not for long, because I feel you bounce back quick, but you, you made some sort of intelligent, emotional decision regarding uh, a relationship or a career moving forward, and you stood in your ground. You stood your balance, you seek the truth in a situation, and once you were able to find out, I feel there was some sort of mystery uh, or some sort of secret that came to the surface here regarding a love situation. So for many of you, uh, again, there was a definite choice that needed to be made. And if you are inquiring about a career as well, Pisces, um, this could just be some sort of commitment or some sort of deep choice that needed to be made from the heart uh, with the lovers. But it could have been a separation. It did show up in reverse here, uh, but there was judgment. So a, a final call of something, you just knowing that what happened in the past, uh, that karma was going to come around with that judgment card. This is the, the card of balance, uh, legality, seeking fairness, but it's about the balance being restored in a situation in order for you to give birth to an entirely new idea, whether this is a person, a situation, uh, a career event. You're giving birth and light to something else that's more passionate, more fiery, um, 
more logical as well. The King of Wands is standing in his power here. And this is somebody that is uh, an influencer. It's somebody very successful. This is your energy as well, Pisces. Uh, entrepreneur energy, energy, but it's all about um, taking a stand in something, not being impatient about it, being uh, moving forward because you want to build something that's long lasting. So you finally taken the blindfold off here and you're building you're building something that can withstand the test of time here, Pisces. The Seven of Pentacles is all about uh, being open to a new strategy, but uh, you you being patient about it as well. There's been some sort of pause in a situation, um, but you have clarity now and you know what direction you want to go. There's, there's no more decisions uh, that need to be made because your hard work is paying off in a situation. I feel like you did take off that blindfold, so that is where your energy is at now. So we're going to dive into what you should focus on during the new moon cycle. Again, May 11th, uh, depending on where you are at in the world. Pisces, the 10 of cups energy is where you should put your focus uh, for the new moon cycle. The 10 of cups energy is all about harmony and relationships. So it does look like there was some sort of imbalance going on in a past relationship. So whether you are currently with someone and you had, um, you had a, a falling out, whether you did separate from them or it's something that you definitely want advice uh, or you found out the truth and you're trying to regain balance in a situation, or if you were in a career uh, that there was some sort of blow up that happened or some sort of truth came out. Uh, but the focus is the 10 of cups energy. And again, this is all about you finding balance within a family dynamic, a career, your community. This is some sort of uh, peace and good fortune as well coming in for you, but it's focusing on, serenity and peace and family and i'm seeing i'm hearing the word and i'm seeing as well beach and i'm smelling salt uh, so possibly you could be actually thinking about taking a vacation or you could be going on vacation during this moon cycle so again may 11th for the following 28 days so sometime within that time frame um, i am seeing a lot of you either taking a vacation or taking some sort of break in a uh, situation of the past here so that is what you should focus on, or at least planning some sort of happy family time or a gathering, gathering celebration. Uh, but that is where your energy uh, should be focused on during this cycle. So what is my beautiful Pisces full potential? What is their fullest potential? The three of cups. This is again, celebrating um, with your soul tribe. So whether this is you celebrating with your family uh, this is also the card of weddings as well, or reunions, you getting offered to, to go to some sort of event. So this could be you being offered to go on vacation, as I was seeing earlier, um, or it could be a, a reunion or some sort of community event coming up here uh, for the new moon cycle. And the three of cups energy is all about abundance as well. It's about soul contracts. It's also the card of reconciliation. So this could be you, uh, you had a fallout in the past regarding a lover, regarding a work situation, and there is um, some sort of reconciliation that, that's being tested at this time or uh, that's your full potential. You could heal this situation from the past is, is the potential for this new moon cycle if that is the choice that you choose. So that is, uh, can we get a card spirit to clarify the celebration? What is the celebration or this reconciliation here? And you may be celebrating with the person that you're trying to reconcile with as well. Or the possibly the two of you had planned on going on a, a trip together or some outing together. And in order for you to do that, you need to reconcile uh, with the person in your current energy. So that is your potential uh, at this time during the, the new moon, May 11th energy. All right, Spirit, can you please clarify the potential energy of the Three of Cups for my beautiful Pisces? What does my Pisces need to know? Thank you. Okay. And this first, thank you. All right. Yeah, there's uh, Ace of Pentacles coming in here. This is new beginnings uh, in prosperity, wealth, or career. Um, but feeling like you possibly might miss out on something uh, regarding 
this three of cups energy. So I'm hearing that there, you will not be missing out. Even if you go solo to this event, uh, Pisces, or even if you decide to take somebody else to an event that wasn't this person from the past, if you decide not to reconciliate with them, it's okay because you're still being supported. Um, this Ace of Pentacles also comes in and it talks about with the, with the losses are gains as well. Um, so, you know, you feeling like there's a loss of possibly a situation of the past, but you're gaining something from it here. And I'm told to go this way. Okay. Yeah, because you have a change in your luck and fortune. So something that may have turned out you thought may have been negative or just kind of bad luck or there's a turn of events coming up here regarding your potential. And this, this wheel shows up to tell you, uh, as you can see here, she's wearing dice around her neck. So roll the dice on a situation, Pisces, because it will turn out in your favor. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune comes in to remind you uh, that luck is on your side. This is destiny coming in, some sort of unexpected change that maybe you thought that it was going to be, there's going to be misfortune around it, but it, it really is fortunate. And you might meet someone by surprise. This is also the card of travel as well. Um, so again, I'm getting a lot of travel uh, within this new moon cycle for you, or at least uh, at least wanting or planning to travel. Um, but there's some obstacles. And the obstacles is what your potential is overcoming here for the new moon energy. So if you're feeling like there's some sort of competition, uh, whether this is in love or this is in career, uh, this is your energy at the top here. So I don't feel like you're this guy on the ground anymore. Um, you're climbing up and you're reaching. And I love this next card here because what is it that he is trying to reach for? He's reaching for that sun. He's reaching for the ultimate happy, happy ending here. Uh, not so much ending, but just uh, an environment that feels happy, successful, rewarding. And again, sun, I'm getting beach. <laughs> so the amount of of fresh travel energy is coming in so strong, but I know that's not going to resonate with everyone. Uh, but the Knight of Pentacles comes in slow. So again, something slowly that you're trying to build up, go towards, uh, this will be successful. This either reconciliation or this celebration coming in here, this good luck of events is going to leave you feeling so ultimately happy that you don't even know what to do with yourself. <laughs> the sun card, this is the happiest card. It's all about uh, abundance. It's about recognition and reward, positivity, fulfillment. This is the ultimate yes card. So whatever it is that you're thinking about uh, it is your potential. So Pisces, if you're thinking that things are going to be bad luck, guess what, Pisces? They will be bad luck. But if you're focusing on the upside of the wheel, that things are going to turn out in your favor, they will. So the potential for you during this new moon energy is for you to see the light in all situations, for you to feel that happy energy and for you to get your vibe back um, because there's a lot of success coming in here for you. All right, so what energy does my beautiful Pisces need to surround themselves with to reach their fullest potential? The magician. This is you having the tools at your disposal, again, to manifest the life that you desire. Pisces, the magician comes in and, and reminds you of your natural talents uh, that get your ideas moving into motion. Uh, you know, the magician here is all about tapping in and tuning into the resources and tools that you already have to create your reality. So for example, if you've been saving and saving and saving for a rainy day, and you know that you're able to go on this happy, you know, vacation with family, don't think of the negative of the loss of, well, I'm going to be spending this much money. If I take my family on a vacation, switch that thinking and manifest. Well, the memories cannot be replaced. Um, the happy times cannot be replaced. And because I am in this happy vibe, this happy energy, this happy moment in time, I am creating and manifesting even more abundance than I even thought possible. So I do love that energy uh, because you are manifesting what you think about you're bringing about right now, Pisces. So make it positive. Uh, Spirit, can we just clarify? Thank you. We're clarifying the magician card. Yeah, whoa. You have so much celebration coming in here for you. The four of wands is, 
you're celebrating with your family, with your community. This could be, again, I feel wedding, some sort of wedding, uh, a birthday celebration, you know, a, a retirement celebration, possibly visiting family out of state because of some big events going on here. The four of wands energy is 11, 11. It's soulmate. It's twin flame. It's stability in the home or relationship. Um, some of you could be buying a home or land as well. So that's what you're celebrating. You could be celebrating a move. This is the card of marriage as well. Uh, but definitely a lot to celebrate. I'm just loving the abundance. I'm, I'm just loving tuning into this energy Pisces because it's absolutely beautiful. Celebration is the theme for the new moon coming in here. Uh, and your final card, what action do you need to take to achieve your fullest potential here for the new moon in May? is the seven of wands the seven of wands is all about you being at your best it's your personal best here pisces you're feeling good you're feeling strong you're feeling confident you're going the distance you're living life on your own terms and you're not being persuaded by other people's thoughts or opinions you really are manifesting the life that you desire here it's absolutely beautiful this energy is just Phenomenal. You are at your personal best here. Uh, Spirit, can we please get some uh, action steps? Okay. So before I dive into that intuitively, I am getting, <laughs> I am getting different acts of self-love that you can take as well. And I'm seeing somebody getting a haircut uh, or e either a hair buzz or just a haircut, but I'm seeing somebody uh, regarding the seven of wands, somebody being at their personal best is you're taking care of hygiene. Um, not that you're not, you know, not that you're a smelly person or anything like that, but you're definitely taking care of uh, your hair. You're putting it in a new, a new way, or you're trimming it up. Uh, you are coloring it. You are doing something with your hair. And for some of you, you could be even swimsuit shopping. Uh, it is the season coming up here. And if you are going on vacation, I'm seeing um, somebody sh browsing for swimsuits for the Seven of Wands energy. So the action step that I would say uh, intuitively for you to bring into the new moon energy is do a few things, Pisces, that you can do to make you feel better about yourself. And not that you need anything else to feel better about yourself because you are on top of your game. But what I am getting is your inner emotions and feelings and success and abundance are going to align and match with your outer appearance. Um, so again, very beautiful energy. So we are going to pull, um, not from this deck. Okay. So they want me to go straight to the angel uh, deck here regarding action steps. Okay. I'm hearing two from this deck. Okay. So did one just fly out or am I seeing things here? Okay, so we have um, a clarification here regarding the action steps. Thank you. And one more I'm hearing for my beautiful Pisces to take for the new moon energy beginning May 11th. The new moon cycle, uh, it is a 28-day cycle going from new moon to full moon energy as well. So you can utilize everything that we've talked about in this reading all the way up through the full moon. Thank you. Spirit. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm tuning into those vibes, Pisces, and you're feeling great. I'm loving this. So we have singing and dancing. This is an action step that you can take. And trust me, Pisces, after all the energy that's going on here, especially <laughs> because I am getting the, the wedding, the celebration, there's going to be some singing and dancing going on. Somebody's going to be singing some karaoke coming up here. And somebody's going to be busting a move and even the kitchen or on the dance floor is what I'm seeing. So some sort of action steps uh, for you to take for this new moon. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. So yeah, even if it's you singing at the top of your lungs into a microphone, singing karaoke, or if it's you singing at the top of your lungs in your vehicle, Bust and move and belt a tune is what I am getting. Yeah, singing and dancing because there's celebration. Lots of it coming in here for you. And Pisces, lastly, regarding uh, what actions to take to achieve your full potential, we have your base chakra here. Choose positive thoughts to describe your home, your career, 
your finances as your world determines your outcome. Boom. You can't even get any closer than that. You know, this clarifies everything I was saying with the, the fool energy, uh, or excuse me, the magician energy of thoughts create your reality here. You're creating a beautiful reality. You're on top of your A game and you're going to be singing and dancing because there's a lot of celebrating in here. Pisces, beautiful. I want to come celebrate with you and get my get my dance and my groove on. So I hope that resonated with you. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all of your beautiful comments, all of your subscribes, all of your energy that you've you've given back. So I'm grateful. I'm appreciative. I'm blessed. Sending lots and light out to you all, and I will tune in next time.